just tried to get to a spot where I felt comfortable and got it up in time, and obviously it went in and it um, forced overtime. Um, but uh, sucks that we lost, but it was good to play like that in front of a lot of friends and family. Joe said he was drawn up for you. How were you able to put the play broke down and you still found some space? Yeah, I mean, um, I got it. We were down three, and I was just trying to find a little bit of space just to get a shot up and get it up on the rim and give ourselves a chance, and um, luckily it went in. Have you had any of those in this building before? Honestly, I can't remember. I might have, but I'm not really sure. So, I mean, I hate to change the subject, but your brother plays at Michigan State. Have you talked to him? What's, what's, what's he going through right now? Yeah, no, he's safe and he's all right. Um, obviously, what happened is tragic, and you never wish that upon anyone, um, especially with a family member that's close to the situation. So he's good. He's healthy. His teammates are good and safe. So um, prayers go out to all the families and people who were involved and, and victims of that. So, um, yeah, definitely a, a tragic event. Realistically, you know, a lot of you guys aren't going to play these big minutes in the playoffs, but how can a game like this against such a good team um, on the road help going through the experiences for you guys? I think it's good for Joe knowing that he has a lot of guys that, um, you know, have shown that they can play in, in big games and in crucial situations. And if he gets in a pinch, he can throw guys in there. And um, I guess, you know, it just goes to show how deep our team is. And for a coach, that's a good problem to have. I mean, I thought we played well overall. They just made a couple more plays than us. Um, yeah, I, I think honestly that's about it. Yeah, that's all I got. How, how have you kind of felt the impact Mike uh, plays extra minutes tonight, stars, couple games in so far? Yeah, Mike's great. He brings a veteran presence, um, knows how to play. He's got a high IQ and who's been knocking down shots and spreading the floor, and that's been opening up things for uh, guys like Derek and Malcolm to get to the rim. So, yeah, he's been great for us. Kind of a throwback question. So, like, uh, I coached your Spash teams back in the day when you guys winning state championships. Talk about just, like, having that, I'm not saying in the back of your mind, but it wasn't too long ago you were doing that. So what's now that you're in the in, in, in NBA and, and having success, what's – have you ever kind of looked back and reflected on that kind of journey from, you know, Spash all the way through? Yeah, it's kind of a crazy journey, you know. Um, coming up through high school, you dream of things like this, being on the NBA stage, you know, playing in front of my, my people and my friends. And um, it's definitely cool to reminisce a little bit on, and, and bring yourself back. But uh, I'm here now, and I'm, I'm enjoying myself as well. How many people did you have here tonight? Uh, I don't even know the exact number. Probably around 40 people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what is it? How special is this group that it is? You guys continue to rise and step up to the occasion, no matter who's on the floor. Yeah, I just think we have a good we have a good locker room, good culture, and guys bring good energy and, and good vibes, and um, we trust one another. And it's it's easy to play when you, when you have trust in the guy next to you. So, yeah, I think these last few games it's been really free flowing, and, and guys are getting to their spots and um, and just not really overthinking things, just kind of playing basketball, just like we all know how to. So I think that's kind of what I attribute that to. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.